Hello. Today I'd like to make this month's March's Paper Pumpkin Alternative. I just love this March Paper Pumpkin. It is so gorgeous. And this is our card we're going to make today. It's a double Z fold. And um, I got this idea from my upline, Connie. Um, she did one with uh, a birthday. A regular size card. This is your note card size one. So anyways, we're going to make that. And um, that's the envelopes that come with it. So let's get started on our card now. Show you what to do. I just think it's adorable. Right. What we'll need out of the kit. And this time I'm going to use the, um, the darker color one. So... You'll need your, uh, to score it, let me pick them up, I'll put it on here, and we're going to score at one and three quarters, and then we're going to reinforce the score line that's already here, and that's it for that, and then this one, I'm going to do the same thing, score at one and three quarters, and reinforce this score line there we go so that's it for our scorer now i actually need the cutter which i forgot all right so now we'll take one of these and i'm going to cut off an inch so put it in your cutter and We'll cut off an inch and you can save this to do another one so, right so all we do is we take our card and we're going to fold it this will be the back side like this was the tan colored one and I left the white on the inside so that's going to be our back side. So we're going to fold it like a normal card. And then we're going to fold this back. Like a Z. So it opens like that. But let me put this down and give it a good score with my thing. Like that. Right? And this is going to go right over here like that right Oops. it'll work out there we go and that folds in now let me fold them in get a good crease on them there we go so, there and there so yes right so for our panels I'm going to use this huge flower but we have to adjust it a little bit because there it won't fit on here so all I'm going to do if I can pick it up my goodness I'm going to fussy cut around this leaf here And cut that little tiny bud of a flower off and the same with this one and that one and then I am going to cut these off now I think now it will fit. Let's see. Yeah, no, no, I still need to cut this off, I guess. So we're going to cut this flower off right here. And I did, I did this before. Let's try that. There we go. And that leaf. 
cotton already while I cut off. Yeah. So, all this is going on like right there. Then we'll need two panels. This is actually uh, the envelope that I've cut up. So we're going to put one panel here and a shorter one there. Well, it's not really shorter, but we're putting that one there. Let's put that one on first. Um, I will use glue. this on here there. Okay. now this one we are going to glue on there and there in fact I, I think I will do fast fuse it might be easier to do that so put fast fuse there go and I'm not going to stamp the happy birthday like I did here on this one because it's it's too dark so we're going to use something else for that so let's get some tape on here there we go. and we'll put that down here Yeah, give it a good varnish. There we go. Now we'll take this one and we're going to put it over there. Oh, maybe I should do that. Oh, I like that too. Do I want the flowers or do I want that? Ah, no, I'll do it this way. And we're using glue again. I'm not going to go through the paper pumpkin kit and show you everything because I'm sure there's a, a bunch out there already that you... Oh, I put it on the wrong way. Oh, well, we're stuck doing it this way. I wanted it the other way, but uh, that's all right. We'll cover the word up anyway with the flower. We can do that. Right. So that, that, that. I probably should have put this down there too. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Well, maybe we can cut it. Hmm. You know what? I am just going to fussy cut this down. Let's see what we can do. If not, I will start another video. <laughs> uh, let's fix our mistakes, right? see how that works see if we can sort of glue that and leave that on the top that would be nice there we go how about that well that worked out good awesome Glue that there. Don't want it 
to interfere with the fold though. Over just a tad, huh? There. going to take the ink and um, I do a piece of scrap here and come off your paper and just color this in with the sponge Just to make it look shabby, <laughs> old, antique. Just do that to all your edges and a little bit the corners, a little bit more on that one. Just, just not folding down right okay put that aside right now now what we're going to do is we're not using those strips we're going to just arrange all these leaves and flowers on here so uh, let's see where we're going to put them so you can cover up the seed yeah That'll be good. Put that in there. Over. Mash them together. There. About that. I think that'll work. Um, my fingers are going to be all sticky, but oh, I don't want that. Take that off. Yeah, there we go. As long as it's not hanging over the edge, you'll be good. And as long as it's not going to glue down onto that flower. And then I think we will take the pink and put it here this time. I did it the opposite on this one. And I'm going to do it on, look at the sheet of dimensionals we got in this, for you, this month's paper pumpkin. Like, oh my goodness. Um... Put a couple of dimensionals on here. And I'm going to pull it off flower. There. And then we'll have this one. The loose one. I thought I had another leaf. Oh, we can use up oh, there it is. Whoa. dimensionals to a couple two and I think I'm oh let's stamp that first um I'm just gonna put hello on this one Hello. There we go. And this is early espresso. 
Nespresso ink. Damn. I'm going to stick that right on the edge here. Like that. Stick some glue. And attach the leaves to it. Hold it for a second just to let it stick. And there. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. Getting a bit glue on there. No dry. And what you can do for the bare spot there, they did give. some little pearls. We could put three pearls there. That'll take up that little blank spot. I'm going to use the pink. Put in the middle. And there. But the stamp set that you get is beautiful. It's got the flower and the leaves. Um, the sayings are, hello, happy birthday. Um, what a beautiful friendship we've grown. May good things grow all year long. Happy Mother's Day. And then a little uh, swirly thing. But it's, it's pretty. You could even stamp some more flowers and cut them out. Like, oh. All right, so that is our Paper Pumpkin Alternative uh, Double Z card. It's a Z and a Z down here. I hope you enjoyed it. And you, would, uh, for the envelope, you just put the little circles that come in the kit with a brad, and then you wrap your twine around it. And, well, of course, the card has to be in it first, but I just wanted to show you how it's done. And that's the envelopes. So there is our card for paper pumpkin alternative and this was the crumb cake one so there we go i hope you enjoyed my video and i will try playing with another one and uh see if i can come up with another idea and i will post it later if you uh Subscribe to Paper Pumpkin right now. It's 50% off for two months. So instead of paying $20 for a month subscription, you would get it for 10 for two whole months to try. So you get so much stuff in these kits and you can just utilize what you have. And, and I mean, there's so many things left over. I mean, look at this sheet of dimensionals. Like, oh my, plus you get glue dots and a stamp set and ink. I think it's an amazing kit and I just love it. If you'd like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, there is a button on my website that you can click to find out more about Paper Pumpkin. And uh, I appreciate you watching. You have a great evening. Good night.